so far just climbing on normal trail with some rocks climbing up things are getting serious the hair's tied back <laughs> so it doesn't blow in my face if it's real windy and it's cooler as well but it's not a super long trail up to the top and obviously it's not trail at all it's sometimes just rock scramble and cliffs but it's not that long so should be there should be there soon and start climbing Blue mountain ridge Ah, man, <laughs> sweat rolling in my eyes <laughs> already. Oh, goodness, that's not good. Ugh. All right, gonna wipe that sweat before I continue on. All right, I'm back for a minute <laughs> until it rolls down again. Might have to put my bandana on. That's why uh, I normally wear my bandana when it's warm to keep the sweat out of my eyes. I'm not really that sweaty yet. Just on my face, apparently. Still in the trees as of right now. Very mild rocks. That's dry and it's still slippery. <laughs> Must be the type of rock. Just climbed up pretty much just the first big step <laughs> right there. And that's when I realized those poles need to go away because they're going to get in the way of making those big steps where I could just grab onto a rock and jump up. So that's what I did. You can see a little bit of the valley out there, but not much. Not quite up high enough yet, but now it comes up here and goes up there. Much easier as I found out yesterday, <laughs> which I already knew, but definitely easier. Just grab it onto the rocks. 
of course, then you get to these flat areas with the scree, and you almost want those poles to give yourself that third, uh, third point of contact. I couldn't think of that yesterday. I was like, the third, the three, the third point of contact was trying to think of. Quite breezy up here, which I kind of figured it would be, but not too bad. It's not like 50 or 60 degrees right now. A lot of scree. A lot of loose scree. Definitely not my favorite kind of rock. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Woo! Whoa. Crap. <laughs> my trekking pole got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Problems with not using your trekking poles, I guess. <laughs> All right, I think I'll fix that. Okay, the trekking pole saga has been fixed. <laughs> now I gotta climb up that. Let's do it. Big step. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Those rocks are a bit slippery. I would not want to do that in wet wetness. <laughs> Whatever I'm trying to say. Oh, I think I'll have to put the phone down for this one. That one there was kind of tough. There was about three places to put your foot, but not for a size 11. <laughs> I was a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I think my knees are still shaking a little bit on that one. <laughs> Woo! The adrenaline is high. I'm not gonna lie though, halfway up that I was like, are you sure you don't wanna go back and get another burger <laughs> or <a> steak and cheese? <laughs> uh, I think I'm almost at the top already. It's definitely short lived, but that's a good thing because it's nerve wracking. Actually, it's not. Just that one spot was. A little sketchy there.
not as much scree. I have to look at my face again. <laughs> it helps if you go, ugh. <laughs> Try it sometime. A lot of exertion here on these rocks. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking I shouldn't have had that steak and cheese. <laughs> think I really go to the summit I think that's the kind of the summit there or over there or over there <laughs> maybe I do I know I walk on a grassy ridge for quite some time so maybe that does cross the summit but this is pretty much just the ridge getting to the top on the rock side which you've seen in the first pictures from a distance of what this looks like oh, let's see. I'm gonna go up here It's actually a lot of fun <laughs> as I almost missed my step there. That wouldn't have been as fun. I could feel myself doing that. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. It's like by putting my hand up, I'm gonna totally balance myself better. <laughs> it's funny the way the body reacts. Oh, my stomach's a little nauseous. <laughs> it's definitely from the exertion and the food both, not from the heat. Because right now, the sun has been pretty well hidden for a while. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome, I say. Oh, you get to look at my face again. In the sky. In the air, air. <laughs> it's a loose rock. Oh, goodness. Okay, you get to keep seeing my face. This is harder to hold the camera with the right hand for sure. But I wanted to hold it on the right hand so you could see what's on my left right now. And now, I think it's done. I think, I don't know. Looks like that's a trail. I don't think it goes up in those rocks. Ooh. Oh, it's not done. <laughs> it goes in a little trail and then comes back to more rocks. All right, getting closer to the end of this. Hour. It's not the peak of the Blue Mountain, but it is the Blue Mountain Ridge. And that climb was pretty intense in the Lehigh Gap. And the Blue Mountain Ridge and Lehigh Gap is in the bag.
So now that I'm done climbing and I'm just walking on the green grassy ridge like a meadow <laughs> up on top of the mountain, let's talk about the climb. A little bit of a rain cloud right above me here. Wouldn't that be weird if it started raining as soon as I got done climbing? <laughs> That'd be... I mean, I would say it'd be awesome, but it wouldn't be because I'd still be in the rain, but <laughs> that'd be kind of cool that it waited until I got done climbing. Anyway, hello. <laughs> I did not fall one time climbing on those rocks, but here on the flat stuff, <laughs> apparently I can't handle that. It's just too much. <laughs> anyway, it was a good climb. That was a lot of fun. There was a lot of adrenaline going at times. The drop-offs didn't even bother me. I mean, I'm used to much bigger drop-offs than that. I love the views, especially while I'm climbing. I mean, St. Helens is about 8,500 or so now. I mean, it used to be 12,000 before it erupted in the 80s, but it's about 8,500 now, and it's pretty much the same thing. You're just boulder fielding all the way up, except it's for miles and not one mile. And... uh you know, you're seeing 8,000 foot down for pretty much the whole time. Uh, PCT, pretty much anything out west is, you know, 8, 10, 12,000 feet drop-offs or up in the air. Usually the drop-offs don't go all the way down to sea level. Some places in the Sierras it does. But anyway, it was a great climb. One little sketchy place. And to tell you the truth, it wasn't even that sketchy. Uh, it, it was sketchy trying to record, <laughs> but uh, actually that was one of the times I put the phone down and uh, really wanted to record it. Should have, hindsight, should have maybe set the uh, tripod up right there, but then I would have had to done it, had, would have had to have done it twice. <laughs> it was a little sketchy only because the foothold was like that long. So I was basically standing on my toe and then kind of crossing over with the other foot to get up to the next level. And then it was a diagonal rock face or a slanted rock face. Nothing bad. Wouldn't want to do it when it's wet. That's for sure. I do know from doing that though, I need my new shoes pronto real soon uh, because they were having a little problem with traction. Oh, look at these trees. Wow. Those are so cool. But... They were having a little problem sticking to some of those rocks and that shouldn't have, whether it's red or not. <laughs> uh, the Olympus has really good traction. Actually, all ultras do. That's why I like them so much. That and the comfortability and the way they fit my feet. But um, time for the new ones. That's okay. I'm about 30 miles from the end of Pennsylvania now. Woohoo! 30 miles. And I wanted to wait and hold off, see if they could last that long. Uh, so it looks like they did. Now I need to get those new shoes pronto in Jersey so I can have some good traction and comfortability again. Uh, but anyway, quick review. It's great, great climb. Pennsylvania rocks, I'm telling you. It's a beautiful place with some cool scrambles and nothing super high. It's kind of flat. As far as the stage is concerned, you do go up and down the rocks. This is not my Pennsylvania review, by the way. <laughs> it's my review of Lehigh Gap. Uh, there is a winter route. So if it's windy, rainy, snowy, you can go around it. Don't go around it. Unless you just have a really bad problem with balance or big steps or hip problems, maybe. Uh, besides that, you're robbing yourself because that is one beautiful climb. A lot of fun. So. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I'm over it. I'm glad I'm moving on. But that was fun. And I'll definitely do that one again for sure. Someday. Maybe on the Appalachian Trail again. Who knows? Oh my goodness. How many times am I going to fall in one clip? <laughs> or almost fall. <laughs> I think they call that tripping. Not falling. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to carry on. I probably need to drink some water. I didn't drink much water on that climb. <laughs> oh, that was fun.
another rocky cliff on the ridge with gorgeous views down in the valley. That's a narrow step. Oh, let's see, let's go this way, maybe. <laughs> this feels awkward going backwards. There we go. Right here is the pile of rocks that they disperse each year into different sections of the trail on the AT. So each year they bring a committee together and then from the committee, they vote in a chairman. And that chairman heads up the committee to decide which sections of trail throughout Pennsylvania that they will disperse those rocks into and what direction they'll face them, whether they put them upside down like fins of a shark to make them more pointed, to make them harder. That's what they decide each year for the following year. I'm joking. <laughs>
that looked deceiving. It looked like a just a bunch of rocks that I had to maneuver around and ended up being steps. Nice little climb here. Whew. Seems steeper than most of them today. Could be because it's towards the end of the day too. <laughs> you never know. That sun peeking through the trees, getting closer to sunset, making the beautiful golden look on everything. Gotta love that. I'm about 21 or 22 miles in for the day right now. Not sure where I'm going <laughs> as far as where I'm stopping for the night. Uh, I'm just gonna set up my tent but there's really little water and there's a spring a couple miles or maybe one mile now ahead that's like halfway down the trail side trail so i'm gonna go get the water and then look for a campsite but according to the navigation map that i use which is far out it's not really showing any tent sites for the next like eight miles so hopefully it just doesn't have any mark and i'll be able to find them find one and it's, hopefully it's not all slanted ridge line or rocks where i can't set up the tent um and if that's the case then i will have to go like eight miles to where there's a shelter with some tent sites there if there's nothing before then but at least i'll have the water so it could be 30 mile day <laughs> or it could be 23 or 24 that will be determined which is fine. I'm still strong and still feeling strong, I should say, and uh, can keep on going. So this just reduces the amount of miles I would have to do tomorrow. It gets me even closer to the Delaware Water Gap and the end of Pennsylvania. So just gonna play it by ear and see what happens, but water is the top priority right now. The PVC pipe coming from underneath the rock where the spring is. I did have to walk 500 feet downhill to get to this though, on a side trail. Very steep, but that's okay. I have to walk 500 feet back up the hill with six more pounds, three liters of water. But at the very top of that hill is a really nice campsite that I seen. Just a little bit backtracking to get to it. Not even 0.1 miles though, so not too bad. So I'm gonna say good night. Rest well, sleep well. I'm setting up my tent, eating some food, and going to bed. And in the process, I will see you all in the morning and live life. <laughs>